Roblox Bed Wars just dropped Season 3 with a ton of new features. However, did this season truly live up to our expectations? Was Season 3 a disappointment? This video, I'll go over the new additions from Season 3 and compare them to the previous seasons to determine if Season 3 is a pop or a flop. Mm. So here's the main question. Could Season 3 ruin Roblox Bed Wars? To answer this question, we must look at a few things. We'll look at the new kits, the new features such as additions or changes to the gameplay, and the new cosmetics. So we'll split this up into these three categories to answer our question. So first, let's take a look at the kits. There are 4 new kits in Season 3 compared to 7 kits in Season 1 and 5 kits in Season 2. Let's take a look at the new Season 3 kits. First, we have the Santa kit. This kit is pretty useful if you want to take out a base, so I'd say this kit is decent. Next, we have the Yeti kit. This kit is good for breaking beds, just like the Santa kit. The next kit is the Gingerbread kit, which is kinda useless, but it's really good if you want to get to high places. It kinda works as an alternative for the slime block, but it really doesn't have too much going on, so it's an okay kit. Finally, we have the Airy kit, which is by far the best season 3 kit in my opinion, and I'm I'm sure most of you guys can say the same thing. Like you can literally one shot emerald armor. In terms of these kits as a whole, I can say it's a bit better than the season 2 kits. Because let's be real, the trapper kit only works if the enemy is a bot. Same with the jack kit. On the other hand, it's a bit worse than season 1 in my opinion. Because some of the kits in season 1 are overpowered. Like Jade and Bounty, none of the new kits in season 3 really stand out. Except for Aerie of course. However, this could definitely change because I'm sure that the devs will add more kits to season 3. So maybe it could change my opinion and I'll rank it above season 1 if the kits are good. But so far, the new kits aren't too memorable. There are many things to do in Bed Wars. Sword fighting, building, upgrading your arsenal, and much more. In Season 3, they added a new enchanting feature, which you guys probably know about. Enchanting is definitely one of the best features in Season 3, and changes the way we play the game. Like, if you get hit by a raven with the fire enchantment, you're pretty much done for. The static enchantment is the best way to crash people's Toshiba laptops. And when the void enchantment first came out, it can literally give you a rage play in one kill. But that's patched now, and the void enchantment is kinda useless. These enchantments bring a whole new breath of fresh air into the game, and are definitely some of my favorite aspects of the Season 3 update. It also gives a breath of fresh air to the content creators such as Tanker, Mini Bloxy, and many others, because content creators are very important to the success of the game. The game provides new content for the content creators, and the content creators make videos, which provide more exposure to the game, which ultimately leads to more players. And season 1 and 2 didn't have too many big game features at their release. So honestly, I would put season 3 above season 1 and season 2 when it comes to new features. Although cosmetics aren't too important, they still spice up the game. This includes sprays, lobby titles, and the new lobby design. In Season 3, they added 29 new sprays compared to 21 new sprays in Season 2 and 23 new sprays in Season 1. In Season 3, they added 23 new lobby titles. In Season 2, they added 24 new lobby titles. In Season 1, they added 27 new lobby titles. But enough of that, let's talk about the new lobby. The new Season 3 lobby is amazing. Definitely better than the Halloween lobby in Season 2 and the new lobby in Season 1 by a landslide. It's a nice Christmas design and it's very appealing. They also removed some pretty unnecessary items, such as the baguette, which literally Bruh. almost does the same knockback as a sword, and the gliders, which is the most broken thing in the game and gave lots of people nightmares. But let's move on to the main question. Could Season 3 ruin Roblox Bed Wars? The answer is no, at least for now. And here's why. Season 3 had some great additions to the game, which improved the player's experience and improved the YouTube experience. People were able to do something new for once when playing Bed Wars, and new, fresh content started flowing such as combinations with the new kits and the new enchantments. And also, there was some new Bed Wars lore surrounding the new Season 3 map. I wonder what happened to that dodo bird. Help me. As a whole, Season 3 provided some new and original content to the game, including the kits, 
enchantments and all that stuff. And we should also consider the fact that Season 3 has just begun, and there's plenty more content planned for future Season 3 updates. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, there's new lobby gadgets which I think are pretty neat. For now, I'd rate this Season 4 out of 5 stars. I definitely think that some of the kits could have been better. But this was a pretty solid season to say the least. But that's my opinion and I would like to know what you guys think of season 3. Did you like it or did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. But if season 3 didn't ruin Bed Wars, what will? We really don't know what will truly cause the downfall of Roblox Bed Wars and when it will happen. So far, Bed Wars seems to be a pretty consistent game with a few minor problems like those nasty exploiters and the annoying anti-cheat. Like I probably die to anti-cheat more than I die to actual players. Right now, we really don't know how it'll happen and when it'll happen. I mean, there's so many different things that can change the way we play Roblox Bed Wars. So for now, it's an unsolved mystery.